Okay, so together let's work this out with this new method and then we're going to take a little quiz if we don't need more examples. And then uh, we'll talk about why it works. Okay, so. Alright. So this start with 45. Okay, from left to right we go 4. We make 4 sticks. Okay. And then we make 5 sticks. Because it's 45. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Sorry guys. Your daughter was over here. Same. <laughs> 45, okay. So that's that that's how we're representing 45. That's the first part. Okay. From left to right. Left to right. Now again from left to right. Okay, we're gonna represent 32 in the same kind of way. 30 and 2. have this little diamond shape. Okay. Now I'm showing you how to do it. Later we're going to discuss why it works. Okay. We'll give you the right answer. It'll be the product. Okay. But what I want to challenge you to do is to take a relatively simple thing, multiplication. Okay. Before it gets any more complicated than multiplication, where we start learning about quadratics and parabolas and graphs and all that kind of stuff, let's learn how we can approach learning math. Okay. By that I mean why does this thing work? Why is this thing the way that it is? Can you move your phone away, please? Away. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> it should go in phone jail, that's true. Yeah, that's where mine went. Up there in that black box on that shelf. Excuse me, say that louder. <laughs> louder, ma'am. Louder. All right, there's no need for that. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to, to do this, but then I want you to be clear. Why does this work? So, kind of section these off. Right? We, we'll start with this one. Then we move to the right one, right? And if you move to the right one, anything to the right one of this one, it gets grouped together. If we can move the right one without getting to the end here, like if we had three-digit numbers, well, then we group those together as well. So now we count the number of intersections. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 12 intersections in that group. Okay, here we can count all these intersections together, right? We could just do like 2 times 6, that's, that's 6. We could write a little 6 right there. And then 3 times 5 is 15. We just add those together, we get 21. Right? Question myself. Come over here, 2 times 5 is. 10. Okay, here's the thing we do now. We have a two digit number here. So this one carries, carries over here. We add it on to this group and we get 22. This two carries over here. We get 14. So this two is over here. Sorry, there. And yeah, it's going to be 14. So 1,420. Check, we get a calculator, we can check and see if we're right. That's a big calculator. What's that? That's a big calculator. Yes. It's better for you to see it. 40. So we've got 23 plus 1 is 24, not 22, so 1,404. Uh, there we go. Let's do another one. Uh, so can you give me a two digit number? 14. 16. 12. 12. I heard 12 several times. All right, so first from left to right, one, so this one, and six, so this six, six. All right, again, left to right for 12, a one right there, and two. That's a group. 
group to the right. Okay, these two get grouped together. This is its own little group right here. I wasn't doing anything. I was I was like that. You're a bad lot. Okay, how many intersections are in the first group? What's that? How many intersections are in the first group? Just one. Just one? Okay. Just one right there. Uh in the second group, there's two here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six here. Eight all together. And we have two by six, that's 12. This one carries. So we get nine. So, 192. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's not surprising. Things like that happen. I'm just a little confused. Do it again if you take a break. Right. I got the one. No, I understand. Should we do one more, or do you think you can just do it yourself? <laughs> well, we can do this test. Only one more with like. 144. 42 and. 42 and 693 times in the four times. And what? 694 times. <laughs> 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 All right. I do. Okay. I feel like I'm seriously talking to my children. Me? I tell you guys to stop as much as I tell my kids to stop. Oh, God. Ignore them. Stop talking to them. I wasn't talking to them. Look at her. Yeah, In fact, just. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I don't get like all the care. Trade places with. Say what name still. Carson. Carson. Yes. Carson. Yes. Carson. Yes. Carson. Yes. Oh, all right. See, see what you're doing. Oh, yes. Yes. You and Jason talk about it. Oh, so it's just the new world history. I like it. Oh, my God. Intersection. We start over here. That's its own group. To the right. They're in there. And this is its own. Okay. Okay. The first one's going to stop. Twenty-four. We've got four by six. Yeah. Twenty-four. And second one is forty-eight. Forty-eight. <laughs> yes, all together. All, all together. Yes. Forty-eight. And eight. No. All right, so this one carries over to the 48. It comes down here, uses the 49. This four carries over here, four twenty-eight. Two thousand eight hundred and ninety-eight. Wait. Oh, okay. Did you do that right? Yeah, yeah. Two thousand eight hundred and ninety-eight. Question? No. Just to review here. You have 42, 1, 2, 3, 4 sticks like that, 2 there, 60, right? 6 sticks here, 9 here, 9, 6 
69, 42, okay? Multiplying them together just requires us to count the intersections, okay? Count the intersections, we have three, now four by six, that's 24. There's four here by one, two, three, four, nine. Four times nine is 36, plus another 12, 48. Count this up as 18. Then, anytime you wind up with a two digit, you carry this one over there. Okay. Carry the one over here, add it to 48, and get 49. Carry the four over here, add it to the 24, you get 28. Put it all together, 2,898. First, I'm going to see if you can do it. Okay? So you got a blank piece of paper. I'm going to give you a problem to do. You're going to do it. You're going to pass it in. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, God. I'm picking up what you're coming down. Or if you drop this, probably. <laughs> Seven more for the seven and the thirty-seven. It's seven. Seven. Left to right again. Twenty-one. Two for twenty. One for one. Now we count the intersections. There's six there. Okay. Here in the middle, as you move to the right one, lock that up. One, two, three. By 7 to 14. 17. 17. 2 by 7. 14. 3 more. 17. Here, just 7 intersections. Straight across there. Seven's good, no carrying, it's just a seven. Mm -hmm. But here we have 17, okay? So this one carries over here, plus one, and we get seven. 777. Seven hundred and seventy-seven. That's great. That's like the eighth one that we've done that, that turns out the right answer. Yeah. I actually got all this right except for the seven. I thought you had to carry it to the yeah, seventeen. Yeah, me too. That's what I did. Uh, so then I, I didn't, I didn't remember if we did the, the single digit. Okay. Yeah. Right. And that, that's kind of the the reason behind all of it is because uh, a lot of people. Worldwide, think of math as like the correct collection of algorithms to use to do all the things, right? You know what I mean? As if the math is just a bunch of set of steps to do math, okay? Uh, it certainly can be done that way. I mean, that's how computers do it. They have a bunch of algorithms, and computers can do really complicated things. But Computers don't really understand what they're doing, they're just doing what they're told. Right? But you can do better than that, you're human beings. Okay? So let's talk about why this works, but first let's talk about what multiplication is. So when I do 37 times 21, what does it even mean? 21. Huh? It means 21? There's a 21. Products. The answers that we get from multiplication are called products. How about let's like give some units to it. Like thirty-seven and what? Dogs. Dogs. Twenty-one cats. Burritos. Apples. Burritos. Cats. Burritos. Parakeets. Parakeets. Burritos. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now wait a minute. What do I get when I multiply? It's not a setup for a joke. What do I get when I multiply a dog by a Dorito? <laughs> a Dorito dog. A dirty dog. A 
dog that got into your Doritos. Is that from multiplying them together or adding them together? That's a wild adding. You add a dog plus a Dorito and you've got a dog in your Doritos. A dog outside. It's a dog. I'm pretty sure it's a dog. It's a Dorito. So the point here is it's nonsense to multiply a Dorito by a dog. Right? So let's let's keep dogs. Chihuahua. Cats. Cats. Cat, cat, cats? Uh, How do you multiply a dog by a cat? What does that mean? You get a cat, cat dog. dog. Cat, cat dog. Oh. You, get, you get a chihuahua. You get a chihuahua. You get a chihuahua. You have to multiply dogs by dogs. The multiplication of a dog times a cat, or even a dog times a dog. What's a dog times a dog? German Shepherd. Four dogs. It sounds like a dog plus a dog, and if it's mathematical, but. So. Multiplying a dog times something, it's got to mean something, okay? So what can we, we could multiply 37 dogs by something. Maybe chickens and eggs. <laughs> 37 chickens and 21 eggs. What do I get when I multiply an egg by a chicken? Get breakfast. Chicken or an egg. <laughs> you get dimes. Yes. You get breakfast when you How about that? I walk into... Uh, a shelter, okay, and I look inside a little kennel, which will be completely inhumane. And in this <laughs> kennel are 37 dogs. Oh my god. No doggies! Okay, so I'm not going to draw a bunch of dogs. There's 37 dogs in here. And you only have to take 21 of them home. No, Jesus. It sounds more like subtraction. Are we subtracting there? No. Take 21 of them home? No, yeah. So how would I take this 37 dogs in a kennel and and then multiply by 21? 21 what? <laughs> 21 different kennels. 21 different kennels. There you go. Okay? So it's really more like 37 dogs per kennel and 21 kennels. Hmm. It, it all adds 37 dogs. That's a lot of freaking dogs. Yes. How many dogs? Yeah. How many dogs? <laughs> 777 oh, dogs. Get it now. It still doesn't quite explain the, the, this algorithm that we use. Okay. Well, here's another way that we can visualize multiplication as well. Okay. Just simple area. Okay. 21 along this side, 37 on this side. 21 by 37. We multiply 21 by 37. What does that tell me about this rectangle? It's a big rectangle. The what? It's, 20. it's 21 by 37. The, when I multiply 21 by 37 and you said 77, what is that? The area. The area. Yeah. The area of the rectangle. Okay. That's a big kennel. Whenever we multiply two numbers together like this, 21 and 37, or 3 times 5, or 315 times 278, we're really saying that we have, in one way or another, we have 37 of these, or 21 of these, right? And then multiplying together is just counting up all of them, whatever they are, right? Whether it be dogs in a kennel, right? In this case, I have 21 kennels with 37 dogs each, so I have 21 37s. Make sense? Yeah. 2137. Here I could look at it right. this way, right? Well, 37, so I could say it's like 37 feet this way, right? And each one of those I can stack a column of how many? 21. So in this case I have 37 21s, okay? And then multiplying together is just really faster way of counting up all of those things that exist, whether they be squares, or dogs, or whatever. So we have to look and see, why is this, or any algorithm, how is it counting up these things? Okay, And it goes back to something that a lot of us don't fully understand, even though we learn it, it seems like, every year in elementary or middle school, and that's place value. Okay. You know what place value is? Yeah. What's place value? One, ten, 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 ten. Okay. So let's come over here. Let me ask you a question about this this algorithm here. 
all right? I count these separately, I count these separately, but I put these together, right? I don't put these ones with these ones, I don't put these ones with those ones, but I can put these ones with those, I can combine, I can just count all of these intersections, just count them as one big group, right? They're a big group of something, these things are the same as these things. The question is, what are those things? Numbers, lines, intersections. Okay, this, to get pretty specific, they are intersections of lines. The only problem with that is those intersections of lines, they really just represent something. What do they represent? What is every intersection in this group here? What does it represent? Showing me how this is like yeah. other methods of multiplication. Yeah. But what is this? What does this intersection right here? What does it represent? An integer of all of them made up. The integer of all of them. One line. Ten. It represents ten. Everybody agree with that it represents ten? Yeah. What does this one represent? Ten. ten. And what, what does this one represent? Ten. ten. What do all of them together represent? Thirty. Thirty. Three ten. Right? One, two, three, ten. Seven, ten, ten. Okay. So here is a ten. What does this one represent? One. Does it represent ten? No, one. Just one. <coughs> the number one. Right? So this is where a ten crosses a one, it represents one group of 10. Indeed. So what does that intersection represent? Where a one crosses one ten. a 10. One tenth? Ten. No, you're confusing me. <laughs> tenth or 10? Ten? <laughs> ten. It represents 10 right there. <laughs> is where 10 crosses one. This is where I represent one group of 10. What does this represent? Another, Another one of ten. Another of ten? Yeah. What does this one represent? What does one. that intersection represent? One. A one? Yeah. Two of seven. Two of seven? What does this seven. line represent? Ten. Ten, right? And another ten there. Okay. What does this line represent? One. One. Ten? One. And a one? What's that? So this is a where ten crosses the one, where ten times one is, ten. and this is, ten. and this, ten. and this, ten. and this, and this, this. All those are tens. These are tens, and what are these? Ten. Also Four tens. Ones. These are tens, and these are tens. That's why we can add them together. Right? This way, we're just counting up all of the tens that we get. Right? We're we're counting them a bit in a different way. We're not just Going through it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 21, 22, 23, 24, and just counting them. Right? We're going about it a little more organized. Right? And we're saying, well, when we multiply these together, I'm going to have 30 of these ones. Right? We could look at it like that. We could look at it like this area model here. We could break it up. There's 30 here. Right? Just like I'm saying 37 across this way, there's 30 there, there's 7 there. Just breaking it up. Right? And here we have 20 here and 1 right there. Okay? Well, as part of this multiplication, I'm going to have 20. I should have put 20. 20 of those 7s. Right? I'm going to have 30 of those 1s. I'm going to have 1 of these 7s. Right? I'm counting them all up that way. Okay? So here I'm really saying I have 30 
and I have three tens and I have 14 tens for a total of 17 tens, but when have we ever said we have 17 tens? Because the next place value to the right is seven. So that's more than what it was seven is the next place value. That would be ones, tens, hundreds. This is ones? Yes. This is where ones cross ones, and a one times a one is a one. one. So this is counting up all of the ones that yes. we get, just like this is. This is counting up all the ones, mm -hmm. right? Seven of those guys showing up, okay? Here we count up all the tens and we get 17 total tens. Mm -hmm. That's 10 tens and seven tens. But how many is 10 tens worth? 100. So that's why we come over here, because yeah. 10 of these is worth how many of these? 100. 10 tens is worth, well, what are these? What does this line represent? What does this line represent? So what's a 10 times a 10? So 10 of these is worth how many of these? 100. 10 of these is worth 100 of these? No, no, that means one. Yeah, 10 of these is worth one of these. Right? 10 tens. 10 tens. We could, we could do it, there's one 10. Two tens is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 10 tens is 100. Right? So when we end up with 10 tens, we actually have, we spill over to the hundreds. If we had it with 20 tens, well, then we got two hundreds and some more. Right? If we had 20 more. So when we get the two-digit number, we carry over because this actually means 10 of these. 10 of these is worth one of these. And we just bring it over. Okay? It's the same with this algorithm. Whatever those two numbers were, 37 and 21. We can do the same thing here as we did over here. We'll start with the ones. Let's figure out how many ones there are. Seven. And we only get ones by multiplying ones by ones. If I multiply over <coughs> 10, I don't have ones anymore. I have 10. So 1 times 7 is 7. Okay? That's the only way I can get ones. Can anybody see any other way that I can get ones by multiplying these together? Just ones times ones is ones. Yeah. Right? So we'll move on to the tens. How many tens do we have? Well, there are one group of 30. One group of 30, okay? So how many how many tens is that? 30. No, three. three tens, 30, I got you. Okay, so one times two, that's 30, okay? So when we start to write down seven and then we write down three, what we really mean is 30, okay? One one, one group of 30 is 31, so three tens. Okay? But we also have seven groups of 20. Seven groups of 20. Right? If I have seven groups of 20, how many tens is that? 140. Well, no, that's I'm asking really uh -huh. weird questions. 14, 14 tens. Yeah. But yeah, it is 140 ones. It's 14 tens. So I'm counting up the ones and the tens, and then we move on to what? Three. Three. The hundreds. The hundreds. Yeah. Tens by tens, right? Tens times tens. This is really 20 groups of 30? 20 groups of 30? Um, 20 groups of 30. 30. 20 groups of 30 no, 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 is <laughs> 6, yeah. 60, 60 tens or 600. <laughs> we have 7, 7, 7, 777. I think it's math and you don't know it should be 6 or 6. I need a, I need a process in the project. I have to leave it to 30 for now. Okay. Do you have any homework? Uh, no. Uh, I'm not saying that we have, like, I'm not trying to convince you that this is better and that we should use this. The thing I'm trying to point out is sometimes the things you, know, you think you know about math are, they're just, you don't have a full picture of it. You think that this, well, you think that this is multiplication. 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 7 is uh, 14. Uh, but then we have to do this, and 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 more is 7, and we get 7, 7, seven. That's not multiplication, it's a way to figure out how many you have when you have 21 37s, or 37 21s. 
I'm going to challenge you as I teach you things this year to really understand what, what does it mean to graph a graph? What does it mean to solve an equation? What does it mean to do any of the things that we're doing? Okay? And it's not going to be as complicated as that. I'm not going to take something and make it unnecessarily complicated. But this points out something that you may not have even thought of. It's something very simple as, what does this, why is this one here? What does it even mean? It means, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, it does mean 10. It means that, the, that when I multiply the 2 by the 7, I wound up with 14. With 14, right? And I'm not going to put 14 in the ones place. Only one did you go down in the one place. Right. So I got 14, I got four ones and one 10, so I bring the 10 along when I'm calculating the 10s. Um, I think lattice is really similar to the baseball method. I think so. Yes, like super similar. It's just turned. I would love to hear that. But we do have something else we have to get to. And I just it, it, take the lattice method and just break it down and say, well, I see what's going on here. I see why this goes here. This is Carrying over to the next yeah, place. It's, it's just like the baseball method, but with mm -hmm. numbers. Instead of representing it with sticks. Yes. Yeah. And there's there's lots of different methods. If you've taken a class with Mr. Edgar, if he's world history class, you may have learned the Egyptian method. Okay. Oh my gosh, I hate that. Another <laughs> way of <laughs> counting. It's not even it's right. It is right. No, it doesn't work. It does work. What's the Egyptian? Let's not go there. Yeah, like, uh, let's say no. we do 37 times 21. Okay, let's just start here with 2. No, we'll start with 1, not 2. We start with 1, we double it, double it, double it. We keep on doubling it until, well, if I double it, I get to 64, and that's bigger than 37, so there's no need to do that. Come over here, I take 21, I need double 21. 21, 42, 88, no, 4, 4, 168. Okay, something. Yeah. something, yeah. Do you really want me to do this? 336. Oh, so close. Uh, and 6, 672. Well, we don't need to double. We don't need to double. <laughs> All I need to do here is figure out which of these adds up to 37. So we'll start with 32. Okay, and we're trying to get to 37. So let's see, 32 plus 30 or plus 4 is 36. 37. Those add up to 37. So we'll forget about all these. Drove into this. Pay attention. <laughs> okay. How many 21s do I have right here? One. One 21. How many 21s do I have here? Four. 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 For a total of five so far. How many 21s do I have 32. here? 32. 32 21s? No. 30. No. 32. So a total of 37 21s. So if I add these up, I'll have found how much 37 21s is. Should come out to seven. If I double these right, it should come out to 777. Oh. The first one comes out right, seven. Yeah, 21, 21. 21, 21. Yes, 21, 25. 21, 25. Yes. Shouldn't have any decimal. We're just adding. Right, so 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 672 plus 84 plus 21, 777. It's just another way to count up how much 3721 is. Do you have to use the Egyptian method ever again? No. No, you don't have to. I don't care if you use it ever again. Do you have to use the stick method ever again? Yes. Nope. From this day on, I won't force you to do baseball or stick method ever again. Just trying to get you to use those beautiful minds in your skulls. Okay? They're all very powerful. Some of you could push them a little farther. Right? You could accomplish a lot of things. And 
investments. When you really do invest yourself and try to figure something out that you actually figure it out, or you understand it you know, in, in a new way, it changes your brain physically, it releases endorphins, it feels good. sense of accomplishments you get from pushing yourself to understand something, there's a lot of stress and frustration that comes from trying to just memorize a bunch of things. Right? Math does not have to be a bunch of things that you memorize. It can be a few things that you understand and just apply over and over and over in new situations. Okay? If I understand one graph, I can really understand all graphs. But a lot of times we, as math students, see this graph as this kind of graph and this graph this kind of graph, this graph, is this kind of graph, and now there's all these different kinds of graphs, right? There's, really, if I understand graphs, they all start to melt together, and they're not so intimidating. Okay. Then we can work on, well, how do I make this graph a little easier to, to draw, okay? So, before things get very complicated at all, I just want to encourage you, when we come upon something new, I'll try to explain it to you in a way that actually is an explanation and not just memorizing tricks or whatever, get on board with that. Right? Have the patience to stick with that. Okay? Can't make you, can, can only try and encourage you and try to sell you on it. And I hope that you buy in on it. Um, now, I 